from the towers. So, I'm going to jump right back in. Silent Raids, Fog of War. We need to be prepared. We need to be vigilant. We need to be careful. Evnant, good morning. So I think I have warnings now properly set up and stuff. Herbie, good morning. Careful, careful. Don't remember what all the wild animals were. I think we just had a crazy raid. Oh, that's right. We need to watch the corn and the psychoid. We need to harvest that soon. Uh, we'll get this wall done. And then we'll go to some in the watchtower and brazier things. The heck were you carrying that to? Why did you put it all the way over there? There's not a zone there. Why didn't you just move it one tile? What was that? I don't understand. Okay, you'll be you'll be fine. It's got to be prepared to be attacked. We'll grab some people and do a perimeter check in a bit. Don't remember what's out there in the world. Strategy Hampshire, good morning. Yes, it is morning here. Here it's nearly 5 p.m. What are we doing today? Take over world domination. We are doing silent raids, fog of war. And it's utterly terrifying. We're on day two. Enemies can appear without warning. At any moment, siege mortar shells could land among us. There could be a mech cluster out in the world. I, I have no idea. But we're going to do a perimeter check and we're going to see what's out in the world. Let's go. Let's go look around. See how things are going. Uh, we did purchase a shock lance and an insanity lance yesterday. I traded tons of pemmican for it. Let's go investigate and see if anything's going on. And there's all the people we killed. Uh, your mood's getting bad. Let's go to you too. Okay, there's a mega sloth out here. Anything else around? We really need go juice so I can do this and take go juice to get back inside. What was that? Okay, there's still a super monkey. Those things are terrifying. A mega ape or whatever. Okay, looked clear. Back to work, everybody. Stay vigilant. I have turned off both the pause key and the three speed key. So I only, go, I only go one or two speed. We need to be not going too fast. There's no combat slowdown. There's no combat music. The enemies just show up. And we don't know. I gotta stay zoomed out and be ready. Eventually, oh, 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 why, why did that, no. Why did the require comms console, why did it? Okay, there it goes. Yeah, it's supposed to be not working until we get a comms console. But it won't show stuff in the fog of war. It only shows what we can see. We're working on double thicking the wall. And we gotta watch the outdoor temperature. Life mastery, good morning. Welcome in. Are we able to build some kind of radar later? There's uh, cameras. Uh, we'll have the mini map. Yeah, but it's mostly just gonna be cameras, guard dogs, and watchtowers. Always going to be fog. We have to listen. We have to listen for stuff like attacking our walls and things. And we've got these little security bells to give us a little bit of vision. 
Yeah, it's pretty crazy and hardcore. It's spooky for Halloween. Let's spread these ones out. Let's put this one up there. And put this one right here. Make sure we get all these home zoned. Did we hear something? Okay, that was just the person waking up. Stay vigilant. Noni, good morning. Welcome in. Watch the temperature. Okay, we need to harvest that. Uh, let's get everybody staying inside and just harvest everything. Because it's all going to go bad. Yeah, we need to harvest it today. So we'll get lots of food. That's good. We traded away all our food for shock lance and insane lance. That's absolutely worth it, I think. Strategy, just trying to play as a Smurf. No kill box, no fire trap. Fun! It is difficult and intense, but a lot of fun. But you should play whatever way you find fun. You don't have to play. Uh, fun is very subjective. Everybody has fun in different ways. Uh... We'll just be careful. Need to stay alert. Need to stay ready. Need to keep our eyes... Oh, see, that was just a bunny. Listen to our bells. And quick, harvest all the corn. Haul it in. Something went by. Something's running around. Is that a mad rat? There's a mad rat. Okay, there's a mad animal inside. Yeah, it's a mad squirrel. Ruben, good morning. You can hear the mad squirrel running around. Good afternoon. Yeah, there goes, there goes. Okay, there's a mad animal. Good timing harvesting everything. There it goes, there it goes. Need some sort of... Yes, we're doing Fog of War and Silent Raid. So we don't even hear when enemies show up. No raid letters. No warnings. Stuff's gonna hit us. So right now, uh, it's... Just got cold enough to freeze the crops, so we're getting all the crops in. And then we're going to go back to building walls and stuff. Sounds promising. Yes, it's very fun and crazy and intense and silly. And spooky. Okay, right now, though, we're just harvesting crops. When are we going to build the other walls? We just uh, paused doing it to haul in the, the stuff. So we've just held off doing outer walls just for now to finish this. Then we're going to go back to building. Let's get everything in first. A 44-year-old logger named Chelsea. 31 manhunting pugs. Uh, we have to help her, him, whatever. So we do get quest letters. We'll check. We didn't get the colonist join notification. Okay, whatever. That's fine. It's simple enough. Bloodlust, lazy, careful shooter. Okay, we don't like you. We'll uh, just kick them out. But we're not going to hear any warning about the pugs. 
Or we shouldn't. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna kick you out in a bit. You don't worship the Jade Club. Which is shameful, of course. You don't clean and haul. And yeah, you're making everybody unhappy. Now you, you wear your thing. Stop taking our good stuff. You heard the come the bugs. <laughs> okay, we'll start meditating at the tree a little bit. Oh, one of you doesn't have natural meditation type. Or... Bacchus doesn't have it. You, of course... Oh, you do have it. Okay. It's just Bacchus. Wow. Is Bacchus a pre-made character? Youth, delinquent, and voluntary hermit. Another fake tribal. So we'll let the dogs guard us. And we'll go back to rebuilding walls. Or building walls. Not rebuilding. And then we'll do uh, a goodbye festival. We'll get rid of this person. They're, I don't like lazy. I don't like careful shooter. So we'll get rid of them. <laughs> Puppies. You just clean it all up. Okay, well, move the schedule back one. We're up a little earlier with the better quality beds. Just clean everything up. Good work. <laughs> All the dogs. This is great. That's what we need. We need to be surrounded by barking dogs forever. Then we can hear the screams of them dying and know we're being attacked. It's going to be hard to know when they're all gone. And we'll leave that there. Oh, I want to incorporate that. We need to get lots more wood. We need more wood. And we need to incorporate that to make it warm. Wanderer, good morning. Let's just assume they're all gone and go outside. That 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 is a plan. I that's a very courageous idea. Just a few dogs. <laughs> Just a few. Thought those yapping dogs were in your game for a minute where you're frantically looking around. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. It's okay, you can idle. It's okay. They're pugs, yes. There's 31 of them, though. And they're hard to hit because they're little. Them being tiny makes it difficult. 
Lethalor, what happened in the last episode? Your memory's a little foggy. Oh my god. Were you up all night thinking about terrible jokes like that? Ugh. <laughs> V-Love, you gotta step away. So unfortunate. Have a fun. Thank you for stopping by, V-Love. Kangarubit, good morning. You have two pugs. They're dangerous animals. Thank you for the advice. We will, we will cower from these ones. Between Lethalor and Peanut, we have all the bad jokes covered. Everybody else, more people jump in. It's terrible. They come right off the dome. They sneak in and silently raid me. Oh, wow. Wow. This isn't quite the silent raid, though, these pugs. Uh. Jade Club. Give us your wisdom. Should we send... Rather than kicking Chelsea out, should we send Chelsea off on an adventure of exploration? Generate the planet, please. Should we send Chelsea out to explore the planet and find what's around us? Please, Jade Club. Give us your wisdom and knowledge and insight. Let us know if Chelsea should become an explorer. <laughs> Chelsea tried to convert us. Yes. So we're not going to kick Chelsea out. Chelsea's going to explore the world for us. Send her out immediately. Maybe, maybe a moment. Duke, good morning. <laughs> yes, this is this is fun and silly. Spooky, silent threats. I'm just waiting for the mortar shells to land from a siege. That's when things are gonna get wild. I think they still pugs out. Did we get the notifications worked out like I wanted? I think so. Uh, we didn't just get colonists joined. Okay, colonists joined. But that's okay. That doesn't really matter. I mean, that's obvious when a colonist joins us. Uh, but I think I've got all the things best set up. I've also added Embrasures mod. We're not going to use the Embrasures as defenses. We're just going to use it so that watchtowers work. So we're going to make, uh, like, a watchtower here. And then we're going to put uh, structure embrasures around it. And then I'm going to put two doors like this. So it's like we walk up to the watchtower, and then we can stand and look out in the watchtower, and we'll be able to see out here. But the enemies can't walk to it. We won't use it as defenses. We won't fight there. They can shoot at us while we're up there. So, yeah, it's sort of like Z-Levels. We'll have a watchtower that we can safely sort of look outside. Leon, considering that the sudden mortal are a real threat, isn't it better to spread the beds around? We will eventually, yes. Eventually, we'll be making bedrooms. Yeah. But at the moment, uh, double thick outer wall was the goal. And before that, uh, we were getting in all the corn. And currently, we are hiding from dogs. But the plan is to double thick the outer wall, expand the base a little bit, expand the base in here, and make bedrooms and stuff. That is the plan, yes. Okay. Let's go shoot some dogs. Oh gosh, they're coming! Okay, 
Okay, the super monkey's here. Let's deal with the super monkey. The Dinopithecus. We don't get a warning when it turns hostile. <laughs> we got them, both of them. We just started. There may be more around. There's a pug. I know when ravaging packs of pugs are in my neighborhood, we bring out the guns and clean up the pugs. <laughs> vicious, a vicious, dangerous herd of animals. Okay. Looks like we're clear. Back to work. We'll start getting that outer wall done. We'll start butchering pugs and stuff. So far, so good. Gotta remain diligent. careful. Keep an eye out. Stay prepared. Looks like we got most of the wall done. Can you extract that tree real quick? Thank you. You want to just move that tree? Good, you're getting water. Can you... Refill the tub, please. Water's a bit far away. It's kind of dangerous. Is there any way to get all the past monthly challenges? The mod only saves the last two. You've got to go to the... German Discord to see them all. There's a channel in the Rimianship Discord, and that's the only way to do it. Before those last two months, uh, we just passed around save files. EDH11, good morning. Only downside I talked. Slower. Yes, yes. <laughs> also got to talk quietly and extra slowly today because we need to be diligent, diligent and vigilant for potential attacks. Just got attacked by a vicious pile of pugs. You, oh, you don't believe in hauling. I hate you. Okay, we'll make uh, the campfire and then we'll send Chelsea out to explore for us. The performance is going to take a hit while Chelsea's exploring. So what we want to do is we want to find a neighbor we can trade with. <laughs> On the world map. Hopefully we'll find someone eventually. You forgot about roomingship. Who won it? Diznoff won it. Adam came in second and I came in third. Uh, for the last seven hours, the three of us were even, even, even. With a half hour left, uh, we were all within 5,000. And then, you won't believe this, but somehow, my plan of not building any defenses and only making terrible decisions caused us to catastrophically collapse right at the end. Pretty surprising. But it was a ton of fun. Lots of silly moments. It was good times. It's a shame they don't make all of them available and just update to new ones. <laughs> if you want to do the work to do that symbol, you can. 
They only have to do, you know, 7,000 other things. Easy C, good morning. Grab this. It's King Newbert. Good morning. We are going very well today with Fog of War Silent Raids. Gotta be quiet. Gotta be careful. Gotta be diligent. Mech clusters could be out there. Attacks could be running at us right now. We simply don't know. We're rebuilding all our traps. Getting everything reset up. Take out the corn. Uh, can we start up that ritual? Goodbye. Fe we don't have enough wood yet. Okay. Keep collecting wood. Wins October challenge day. There isn't going to be one. That was Ramian ship. The October monthly challenge is just doing Rimian ship seed at your leisure. It's King Newber, you really like the content of my stream. You always get intimidated with real fog of war. You get worried people don't want to watch a stream with half the screen blocked. Oh, it's it's intense. It's silly. Minor break risk. Careful. Okay, do we have enough wood to do this thing yet? We have eight wood. Do we just not have it hauled in? You don't you can't haul wood. Yeah, it's just not hauled in, okay. I guess they don't see it in the fog of war or something. Why isn't there a cook cooking the baboon? Who's our cook? What are they doing? Oh, I told him to... Okay, you're refueling the stove. You keep bringing in wood. Making traps. You're trying to refuel the stove. Wood is so fleeting. Apparently so today. Can we do this? There we go. Let's do the goodbye festival. Let's get rid of Chelsea. Chelsea, thank you for stopping by and bringing the pugs. You will head out into the world and see if we can find somewhere we can trade or maybe somewhere we'll move to. Maybe maybe we will go somewhere nicer. I don't know. Okay, we'll finish up the double wall. We'll put it over here maybe for now. I don't know. Then we'll make the base a little bigger, nicer. Yeah, we really need to get this person out of here. It's diverse thoughts. Oof. We... There we go. Beautiful goodbye festival. Hooray! Can we get the cook to... Cook the baboon? That's okay. Chelsea! Let's go. Let's go over to the road. Oh, I meant to... Uh, make thing. Who's the cook? Where's the cook? You come butcher stuff, please. Hey, those are just alpacas. I was panicking. You're okay. Stay prepared. Do we have enough dog leather to do one? We're still a little short. Can you get rid of the horse? The poop? Help with the poop. There we go. Stuff is lit. We're working on side casting.
Uh, I want to make a bed roll. Heavy fur. I don't want to use heavy fur. Uh, camel hide. Pigskin, pigskin. Are you one to enjoy Psycasting Expanded? I've never used it. It seemed overly complicated. Didn't really seem interesting to me. I already don't like using the vanilla side casting too much because it's too powerful. So, making things even more powerful, not really something that's in my interest. Okay, let's get Chelsea out of here. But everybody finds different things fun. I like getting my butt kicked. Uh, take all these bows out of here. Oh, we should. Oh, we don't need to use great bows yet. Get some of these wooden things out. We can smelt those later. Yeah, take wooden clubs out. Take bows out. You don't need to take any of that. You can take pemmican. Pemmican. And a bedroll. And... Off you go. Bad for beans. I enjoy being mortal. Yes, I do. Okay. Good luck, Chelsea. May the Jade Club guide you, even though you're not a follower of the Jade Club. Okay, well, stay careful. Off they go. Hmm, do I want to try and wall all the way around the tree? Or just, like, do a quick wall right here? I think we'll just do a quick wall. Let's not follow our dreams. And then... Do other stuff. Yeah, it's going to take a while. To get anywhere. So let's... Let's just bring this right across. And, yeah, we're making short-term decisions. We'll clean all this up and make this bigger wall some long later time. But for now, we just need to get our base surrounded with a double-thick wall. Then we're going to expand our living quarters to this area. Make bedrooms for people. Incorporate this geothermal as a heater. We don't even have electricity yet. I don't fill that up. And stay diligent. You're off. Good, you have tons of food. Because you can forage pretty well. They will explore for us. We're waiting for the next potential attack. We've survived the pug so far. Plenty of food. Everything's fine. Starting to see more of the map. Careful. Just be prepared. Be afraid. I'm so afraid. <laughs> Such a terrifying run. Uh, we'll just do wood. Let's make it quick. Dixonok, first time you've seen someone use Fog of War, time to try and suffer. Yes, yes, it's intense. I'm also using a bunch of stuff to block letters and messages. So... It's more than just turning them on. You've got to adjust a ton of settings. Once I get it right, I'll share my mod config for those. But yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. 
You should adjust it however you find fun, of course. It's scary and intense. We've had lots of moments of just enemies just showing up and bashing stuff. I'm like, what is that? And once I got spooked by a guinea pig. <laughs> I ran screaming and crying. Okay, we'll, we'll try to make some uh, watchtowers now. The animal approaching is my letter. <laughs> You're doing a hospitality run, making a casino hotel. That's awesome. That is very fun. Yeah, we're, we're getting Psy focus it's very slowly. What do you say? Awful barracks? Awful. Nobody's cleaned in a year. Clean, please. Yeah, I like to play Rim World like. A colony simulator, like SimCity, when I'm offline. I play low difficulty Phoebe and stuff. And just like making bases and things. Uh, let's head this way. We'll go follow the river. And now we'll add a few watchtowers around so I can sort of step outside and see what's up. At least have an idea of what's happening. We'll do it in wood. Can you all please clean up the base? So it's not awful anymore. Yep, feel better. We're just playing slow. We're playing carefully. Just waiting to be attacked. Been a peaceful day so far, except for the pugs. We've got Chelsea out exploring the world for us, looking for a trade partner. We're going to clean the base, get this back to reasonable for mood. We're going to make a few towers, then we're going to expand stuff here. Need warm clothes. You're fine. We're not really going to get any better. We will hear enemies attacking, yes, if we pay attention. We will hear banging and smacking. And we have these bells. We'll see them when they go through the bell things. They'll also attack these. They treat these as furniture. So they'll blow all these up. If we're paying attention, we'll see them go through it. Yeah, you know, they're nets with bells in them. Can you move the poop? Can I mine the rocks to east for better sight lines? That would be a good idea, yep. I was just going to build a tower on each side, but it'd be a good idea to mine stuff. Is there an automated security system at some point? <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god, get inside! Uh, yes, there are cameras and other things at some point. Never had a doubt. Wasn't worried. <laughs> wasn't wasn't scared for a second. What are those red circles? We can sort of hear them. If there's something walking around nearby, you can hear them. And it's showing that we can tell there's an animal there. Yeah, it's like sound pings. Yes. 
So I wasn't worried about that. You guys may have been worried. I thought we were fine. Never... Never a doubt. I was doubting. <laughs> I was so scared. Uh, let's make some more clothing. You know, make myself feel better. Oh, it's so close. But yes, there's cameras and things. Need a heart rate monitor? <laughs> yep, yep. I was, uh, I saw, uh, are those nutrient? These are waste rats, I believe. Waste rats. New from the biotech DLC. I think, right? That's what they're from. Same thing. <laughs> True. And this is why we're going to have lots of layers of doors. Because <laughs> that was really close. Okay, Chelsea, you just keep following the road. Is it getting colder that way? Okay, it's getting warmer that way. North is warm. Yeah, go north. Whew. Little intensity. Is that caravan self-sustaining? Uh, pretty close. Pretty close. They they harvest a ton. Permit check. Good idea. And we've lost. A door here. I don't know about that. Will we still get quests from stuff undiscovered? I believe so, yes. I mean, how do you get quests in the base game when you're tribal and you're naked? I, uh, it is my personal belief that everyone starts with a ham radio implanted. Can they leave? Who's they? Oh, the rats? Maybe. They might have to bash their way out. I don't know. Good question. We'll see. I don't. Yeah, I don't know if. I don't know how they'll get out or whatever. But yeah, it looks like we've closed them in this inner part. So some are outside, but most look like they're in here and they're walled in. It looks like. So we may try and clean some of them up. And we get some research done, yep. Fortunately, we got plenty of food. Glad we made all that pemmican and stuff. All good. <laughs> Barely saw them coming, they like blended in with the terrain. We're going to have so many people die to random stuff. One poor soul got a j- How dare you insult my religion? How dare you? The Jade Club is our faith. That is our religion. That is the weapon of destiny. They are blessed to carry the Jade Club. How dare you? How dare you? And not to be confused with a jade knife. Far superior to a jade knife. Okay. We've got some warning rats now at least. Deer is tough, and they are blessed with the Jade Club, and they got some solid armor on, so we may uh, melee block and kill some of these. So I don't really want them to bash their way out. Three desperate refugees. Nope. 
Do they no sleep? Usually they last one to two days, then they sleep, then they leave. I believe that's the timer for these ones. Okay, nothing found yet. <laughs> How many undergrounders do I have? One, two. Okay, only two undergrounders. Winter has begun. Oh my god, there's so many of them. They all got in. <laughs> Group of travelers are passing by. Oh, is that one of the ones I can't turn off? Uh, mod options. Block unwanted Musha. That one is a message. Uh, passing. Did we? I I think that one is one I can't do. Okay, I'll we'll just leave it. I'll make a note. Visitor passing by. I don't think I can block that one. Whoa! Something fell. Did you see that? Something... Something fell down there. Was I... Was I seeing something? Did you guys see that? Did we see, like, a meteor or cargo pods land down here? I think that's what I saw. We will go investigate in the morning. Hopefully after clearing the waste rats. <laughs> See for yourself. We'll have to go check. These rats just do not stop. I'm still, as I said many times, I'm still on like times three speed mode. It seems like these rats have been here forever to me. Just I'm so used to constantly being at three speed and where I've locked in two speed because uh, there is no combat slowdown so if I'm on three speed like those rats would have just ran us down I would have been I wouldn't have time to react so the speeds only go one or two at the moment can some of the rats start sleeping please There's <laughs> so many. I don't want to fight all of them. I would like some of them to fall asleep. Wow, there's so many. You can see this, the dots. Look at all of them. <laughs> well, at least we are getting closer to electricity. And Chelsea's out exploring. Feels like they're lasting forever. Yep. Just gotta wait till they die of hunger. It's it's similar to the hunger. Technically, it has nothing to do with hunger, but the hunger is a good indicator of when they leave. It's one to two days. Then they sleep. Then they leave. But hunger is a good number to look at. That's coincidentally very close to the same timer. Keep looking Chelsea. <laughs> Which is, there's just no no messages. Please, please, rats. Slow down. The Ancient Club of Destiny. Absolutely. Absolutely, we'll work towards getting the Club of Destiny. We'll hold on. We'll be quiet. Intelligent. 
You bet it unironically slaps. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> it's actually, since clubs don't have quality, it's the exact same thing as any other club. But of course that's what we pick. Okay, they're sleeping. Uh, out the doors to the south, then out a double door to s set them open and hit them between the doors of Dulcet. I mean, we could just stand right here. Like, what? Why not just use this door? And we'll let a few more fall asleep and then start shooting them. Or if we'll just let them bash out, maybe. We don't really need to. Why we don't fight? We don't need to take injuries? Why Why should we get hurt? <laughs> why fight them when we can ignore them? Let's not be injured and bleeding. Most of them down yet? Oh, you guys are all meditating. Stop doing that. Yeah, keep exploring. Temperate swamp. Okay. Let's let's try this up. Oh, crap, they're just all coming. Okay. And it blocks the door. That worked out. That's why we didn't want to fight them. Let's... Tess... Tessera, good morning. Yep. Oof. Oof. Ouch. Rotten animal corpses. That is a rat bite your eye. Yeah. Yep. Okay, doctor, doctor, doctor. Come on. And please halt, close that door. Well. We took, what, two hits. That's it. We took three hits. Four hits. And one of them was an eye scar. A bad one. Well. We'll get Lucifer or something for that. Unfortunate. Hopefully now we can go outside and start uh, making our watchtowers, then expand the base. Uh, we can go back to meditating. Not Bacchus. You don't meditate at the tree. Doesn't have natural meditation type. Oh, I wanted to investigate to the south. That's right. 
Okay, you guys eat. Let's go. I think there were cargo pods or a meteor or something down here. Thought I saw something fall. Nope. Maybe I just saw things. Maybe I was spooked. I don't see any sli still slag chunks or anything down here either. So maybe it was nothing. Oh. No, that was a long time ago. When we spawned in, it was an abyss. Yep. Yep. You had to reveal everything. It definitely flickered. Hmm. Maybe it was a flicker? I don't see any steel slag chunks or anything down here. A child is passing by. How do I... Yeah, I'll figure out how to get rid of that message some other time. And where I may not be able to. The mod isn't perfect. So some alerts still come. Okay, rebuild the traps. Any sieges? Not yet. Not yet. Love the door in the wall, <laughs> right? Okay, get me some embrasures right there. And a wooden watchtower. And get me limestone door. Wooden door. So there's our... We're just going to do three towers. This one's not going to great. Well, maybe I'll put one here. Yeah. It's not going to have great line of sight, but whatever. Doesn't need to be perfect. Just give us some. Get the tower. Embrasure. There we go. We're not going to use the towers for fighting or anything, or the embrasures for fighting, but at least now we'll have the ability to see outside our walls. I think that makes sense. That we can walk up a tower and look outside. Madman, good morning. We just survived uh, a lot of waste rats out of the fog. Uh, we did get an eye scar, though, and that's unfortunate. Toxic buildup oh, from the waste pa waste rats. That's right. We've got Chelsea out exploring the world for us. Looking for a potential new home, maybe? I do have geological landforms on, so we may want to... Try and finding somewhere more cool and interesting. Wanderer, I feel like shooting at enemies or animals from a tower is fair game, to be honest. I, I think it is fair, but uh, I just like the standard fighting thing. I don't want to make it a literal tower defense game. But I do agree, it is fair. And if you find that fun, you should do it, but I don't want to alter the base game too much. But I mean, that's how, that's how, of course, defenses are like, you know, a person standing on a wall. It's pretty normal stuff. Yeah, it's not intended. Maybe it's sort of not implemented would be the best. There's no third dimension in RimWorld.
We just want to be able to peek over our walls to see what's up. And the embrasures in this is sort of us doing it. We're going to pretend this is a ladder up. And then we stand on the watchtower and we look outside. And the embrasures let us, you know, be up way high on a watchtower and melee stuff can't punch us or whatever. Rebuffed, drowsy. Are we back to awful barracks? Can we clean up again? Can you clean? Yeah, Rimworld could use some elevation. I used to always say, uh... There's no ammo, there's no need for water, there's no children, and there's no third dimension in Rimworld. But one of those things is no longer true anymore. So maybe more things will change. But we have a need for water. We've got Dub's bad hygiene on at the moment. So I've got the needs turned down really low, so I don't really use it too much. But we are going to have bathrooms. And we had to make sure we hold our water supply. I've got very limited water on the map. We gotta just keep paying attention to what's going on. You keep exploring. We need to get, uh, you know, get these towers up, and then we need to make the base nice, nicer. Get mood back under control. Be careful. Be prepared. You're ready to panic and scream and cry again. Lots of screaming and crying. Yep, drink the water. Okay, just go to the bathroom while somebody's drinking the water. That's that's great. Uh Refill that, please. Go outside. Mega sloth. We have tons of food. We don't need to hunt anything. Mega sloth. Are there no trees to do whatever? Should I wall on the path to the water? At some point, we will. But yeah, that should be pretty high on the list of to-do. Okay, it's just an eclipse. No need to scream and cry. There are trees out here, right? Yes. Just doing other things, I guess. Let's stop meditating again. Get this done. Keep the wood flowing. Okay, one tower. Get in there. Do we already check what fell down from the sky? We came and looked down here, but I didn't see anything. Uh, do can transport pods land without a, a steel slag chunk? I didn't see a steel slag chunk when I looked around. We walked down here. We walked around. Uh, someone said they looked at the vod and they didn't. They, they saw the something flicker. So it wasn't just me. Something flickered there. Who knows what it was? I mean, maybe it was going a different direction. Maybe, maybe I just judged it the wrong way. Maybe it's over there. I would really like to find a trader and have some go juice. Everybody having go juice ready is going to be pretty important. Maybe a flash storm. Uh, we should get warnings for those. I've got weather turned on. So like we got a warning about that eclipse. And that's a good thought. Yeah, this person's got tons of food. Can 
Glad we were paying attention when we saw those rats. <laughs> that was that was scary. Okay, it's an eclipse, so it's just actually starting at the night now. They're still assembling wood. What's the max speed you can get upon? Probably go juice bionic leg. Uh, yeah, architect legs, go juice, very fast gene. Um, there's a few other things you can stack. I don't know the exact number. Yeah, we got notifications for things like weather and diseases. All the stuff we should easily be able to notice. I want on. But... Uh, everything else I'm trying to turn off, and a few things the mods just can't seem to get to work. Like, I can't get those visitor notifications to go away. Can we see far enough to use a sniper rifle effectively? Yes. I may let us use a sniper rifle from up in the tower, because that makes sense. But, uh, you can set the vision range. And I think it's the vision range is shorter than a tower. Or I don't know. I don't know how it works. 22 Raiders from Heavy Green Bottle. Hello. I hope you are enjoying playing Rimworld. 